Hey guys, this is Lori's Cozy Homestead coming at you in a different angle. Today we're on my back patio. We're going to do a video on this awesome smoker and we just wanted to kind of go over all the fun stuff of it, but I'm not going to do the video. My wonderful, handsome husband's going to do it. So here we go. Hello everybody. This is the Cuisinart Oat Mart. We just got it at a uh, Walmart for like a really good deal, only four hundred dollars, and we're gonna do like the initial initial burn off here, and let's get started. So initially, it says to turn it on. You press it for a few. There it is. You gotta feel if there's air coming out of the igniter area that's where all the good stuff happens and there's air coming out now you're supposed to feel if if it's getting warm here and this with that this is without the pellets and everything so now we're going to turn it off I guess you hold it on and wait for the 25 to Come on. So now we're gonna um, put some pellets in and see if uh, the auger works and it and it lights everything up and then we'll we'll heat it up at I think 400 it said for about 45 minutes to let everything cure and everything and then hopefully we'll get some meat later on and put some meat on it. All right. Let's try one at first, buddy. Ah, no one holds that much. Okay. Now we just turned it back on and now we're waiting for the auger to bring some pellets to the igniter and see if it lights her up. Okay, you're on. So yes, we got pellets or in the igniter area. And now it says to turn it off again. So that's what we're gonna do. And then put everything together. Just press this. It goes to 25. Then we'll just put everything back together and we'll start her up. I noticed this is a nice feature here where it stays connected to the igniter area and you just push this over, which is really nice. And this grease pan's really heavy, really well made. So here's the grease tray. So it's like slanted over here, coming down to this hole down here. Then all the fat and grease from the food goes down in here and goes into a tray in the back, which you can clean every time you use it. Yes, we got the beautiful smoker all put together again. We're just gonna put a little bit of canola oil on the main part keep from food from sticking and all that good stuff. Probably easier cleanup too. Easier cleanup, yep. So yeah, there's all kinds of special features with this. Uh, we got a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi set up here, which I've never had. My last one was a pit boss and that thing caught up on fire, so. I had to rush to go to get this one. This was on sale for 400 bucks, so hopefully it'll last us some good good amount of years. But yeah, I like the Wi-Fi so far. I like the stainless steel, and there's even a little light in here that lights up in the inside. Probably it's not gonna do much when there's all kinds of food been cooking in here because it's gonna get really dirty. But. Yeah, these shelvings, nice shelvings, solid. Now, from both sides, this one comes down to 
really nice. Really nice for the price we got it. I think it's uh, like at least a thousand cooking inches. So you got plenty of space. You can always take this rack off. And I don't know, how many pork butts do you think you can fit in that bad boy? Gosh, five or about six eight? or eight, yeah. I would say about a eight lot. of them. A lot of them. Yes, yes ma'am. So yeah, it's been on for, what, maybe three minutes and it's already doing its smoking now. So yes, we just started it up five minutes ago and it's already at 318. And we're, we're gonna do it at 400 to cure everything. And we let it cook for um, probably around 45 minutes. But everything so far looks great. So this was our old baby, the Pit Boss. And as you can see, it caught on fire last week. Glass broke. The whole control area of set on fire and I asked for a warranty and uh, I'm guessing they're not going to give it to us but they claim to have a five-year warranty but it seems like they're coming up with the excuses to give me a warranty that's why we got the new Cuisinart today Cuisinart. that awesome Cuisinart smoker also is a barbecue grill and a, you can sear your meat on it as well so where going to the, for the very first time ever gonna cook our steak on the smoker so we have some beautiful pieces of steak here and all we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper on them it's all you need on these these are very good steaks add in smoke after we cook these steaks we're just going to salt and pepper those we have a pork butt there and two whole chickens that's all we're going to do with that we really enjoy our meat around here we got the three major animals right here yeah chicken Beef. pig and cow oh, hola. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's get started. This Cuisinart here is not just a smoker, if you look right there. It's actually a grill and it can even sear meat. So we're gonna try to sear this steak and, and grill it and see what it does. It's at, the temperature right now is over 500 degrees. So we're gonna give this a try. Let's put a little bit of that olive oil on there. Oh man, nice. since right. the wifey likes it, still mooing, we'll, we'll try five minutes and then we'll probably turn it and see what we got. Okay, so the steak's been in there for five minutes and let's see what we got. So for this color right here, it was about 15 minutes. And she is beautiful. And we did this on that Cuisinart. Cuisinart. So hi guys, this is our first time using the Cuisinart. So far, I give it thumbs up. Give it around a nine out of 10. It has good capacity. It has the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. 
and yeah, it's our first time, but we're very impressed so far, especially for the price. We just finished our steaks, and now we're gonna smoke some chicken and uh, bar a pork butt, and that'll be in a later video. Stay tuned. Subscribe to my wife's channel.